All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Today we have another Pokemon catch event by Austin MMO. Thank you to him for hosting. A really cool little piece of art for Corefish. Love the bubbles. Give it a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10 and move on. Wednesday, the 8th of March 2023 is the date that we're looking at for this. 5 p.m. UTC, 12 p.m. ET, 2 p.m. BRT, or 1 a.m. CST. Please do take note that if you're in that CST time zone, it will be the 9th of March as opposed to the 8th. There is a time zone converter supplied in the forum post linked down below all of this information is always supplied down below in the description it's a beautiful bed of information now it's going to be at Petalburg city hoenn channel one you don't have to be on channel one like they say now um it is important to note that Petalburg city is pretty early on if i'm not mistaken so you might be able to do this pretty early on um you might need to get a fishing rod though might be the one thing i don't know if this is fishing or um, just running back and forth, surfing on the water or not. Maybe we'll confirm that at some point. Uh, you have one hour to get as many core fish as possible. It's just core fish, core fish only, catching your event, and then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit one Pokemon as your entry. So scoring's a little different. There's no species bonus. It's just total sum of IVs plus nature bonus, which is super simple, which is pretty nice. Uh, probably don't need to synchronize Pokemon, but there are nature bonuses of plus five for adamant and plus two for brave. If what I'm saying is confusing you, nature bonus species bonus you know what is all, what's total what is all this right um there's two guides links down below if this is your first catch event one on how to sign up for a catch event how to submit your pokemon how to score your pokemon how to generally participate within a catch event the second one is how to prepare for a catch event what pokeballs you might need pokemon you might need items you might need etc etc so check those out if you're new and let me know if you have any more questions in those comments or in this video's comments now on to the general rules which are the same for each catch event but i'm going to cover these ones kind of quickly to win first through third place that are sort of from highest to lowest you have to submit an entry that scores the highest Highest. To win fourth place, you have to submit an entry that scores the lowest. You can only submit one Pokemon as your entry, so you're usually either shooting for the lowest or highest score. Players can enter the event with only one account slash character. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. Evolved or unevolved forms of the listed Pokemon will not be accepted as a valid entry. You must be the OT of the Pokemon. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. We'll cover the staff members here in a sec. Austin, MMO, RevZ, and Abel. Thank you to those guys for hosting, of course. Keep the Pokemon in your team until results are announced. This is super important. I'm really glad they added this rule because it seems like there was a lot of issues with this and people still have issues with this guys you have to keep your submission pokemon in your team until the results are announced or they can't see your score so it's happened where people have literally won a catch event or at least placed but they've removed their pokemon from their from their team they'll put it in their pc and then they can't check that their score and they don't they don't have it logged down so they like don't win because they weren't entered properly make sure you keep that thing in your party and then in the event of a tie the winner will be determined by earliest catch time this happens more often than you would think now moving on to the prizes first place prize is a gift shiny core fish so pretty cool get yourself a shiny crawdon now that i believe it does have adaptability in game so it's a little bit more of a pvp threat which makes this prize that much much better your choice of nature two moves three selectable ivs plus three times 28 in the other ivs you either want to go jolly or adamant i'm not sure which is better at the moment in pvp you can check that though in the pvp statistics page in game which is awesome a thousand reward points uh, if you don't care about the shiny core fish as well second place gets 500 rp and third and fourth place get 250 that covers all the details for this catch event hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did make sure to leave a like on the video if you like seeing videos like this it really lets me know what kind of content you guys want to keep seeing subscribe to the channel for daily pokemon videos 10 a.m est i upload a video monday through thursday est i stream monday through thursday at 12 p.m 12 p.m est i stream here on youtube and on twitch discord's link down below for more information on my content and on the game there's tons of resources of information on the game in my discord if you want to learn quickly about pokemon discord is the place to be i'll see you guys later have a great day good luck on your catches